Hi everyone, welcome back to the Schematica channel again. This time with a bit of a different tip, I'm using Fusion 360 today and I wanted to show you something that's useful for anyone designing electronics, no matter what CAD software you're using for your printed circuit board layout. If you need step models for your electronic components, yes, you can design and export step from Fusion 360. There's a million YouTube videos showing you how to do that. I'll probably add some down the road with my own twist. But there's one thing particularly good for electronics designers because it also has built-in schematic and PCB tools. And part of that is a wizard that will generate footprints with 3D models. And those 3D models you can export as step files to use in any EDA CAD software that will use step files like Altium, like KiCad and others. So how do you get to it? Well, it's not from the normal workspace. So what I have to do first, and just for argument's sake, I'm going to create, um, I'll create a new project just as an empty place scratch pad where I can play around. Okay, so within that pro Within that project, I'm just going to create um, a new electronics design library, a new electronics library. And the only place in the current version of Fusion 360 to find that is in that weird little file drop down menu that's up here in the corner. New electronics design library or new electronics library. So I'm creating a new library and it puts me into the library editor workspace, which is very similar, and this may not be a surprise to you, to the library editor workspace you have in Eagle, because essentially that's, that's where it grew from. Now, once I'm here in a new untitled library, I'm just gonna save that. This is essentially naming it. I'm gonna call it um, step generator because I'm using it largely to generate step files for use in any other CAD as well as, as well as Fusion, right? So called it Step Generator. And what you wanna do is click this icon here that says Create New Package. This is essentially an IPC design, well, IPC compliant footprint wizard, but it doesn't just generate the footprint in the, the Fusion 360 eCAD library, it also generates the 3D model, which I mentioned. And when you open the package generator, you get this menu that's very rich, actually has a few things on it that aren't even defined in IPC 7351 standard, like through hole crystals, through hole dip and dip sockets. And these are really good quality models that are somewhat automated uh, in the generation of them. And the ones that are surface mount are compliant to IPC 7351 standard. So all you need is your component manufacturer's data sheet with the package drawings and all the dimensions and you can enter them in here into this wizard. So by way of an example, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let's do a D-pack, a standard D-pack. And there's the basic dimensions and the dialog is pre-populated pre with the most commonly needed generic size D-pack that you would have. But any one of these items, and there's a lot of different options here, any one of these items, I can specify the number of pins. That'll control the number of pads in the footprint. But really, I'm just here to generate the 3D model today as, as the main thing. So um, I, I can enter, enter numerical formulae and, and values in these fields and hit hit the footprint tab if I were if I were adding this to my electronics library for fusion for for doing the whole PCB layout in fusion which you can also do then of course that's where the footprint is valuable and you can override the pad values and all of that and you can specify IPC density levels from the 7351 standard least nominal and maxed um, but right now I'm just going to go ahead and click add and that wizard will generate the 3D model for me in Fusion in its native format. So I have this beautiful DPAC model. 
Note that in Fusion currently, this is a proper model with proper materials assigned to it. So I could later on do thermal analysis with this in Fusion if I, if I have the thermal analysis uh, or the simulation extension enabled. Uh, but even just right now for, for getting this DPAC into my Altium library, I can export this package as a step file, right? So, um, so let's go file, export, and I can do it as a Fusion 3D or a DWGs, etc. I just sat step SketchUp. I'm going to pick step and I can specify the location. I'll just go to the folder that I always put my 3D models in 3D. And in here, I'm going to go for JEDEC transistor outlines because this is a, a TO254 or DPAC. So I'm just going to save it there as a step file and I click save and then export. And that's all there is to it. Well, I hope you found that useful and helpful. If so, please remember to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell icon and please support my channel, share this if you know anyone else could benefit from it. And thanks for joining me. See you next time.